All right guys, so today is going to be our final video on the Red 996, more than likely it will be. Um, so we've done oil cooler, engine oil cooler, air oil separator, water pump, thermostat, I'm trying to think of what else. Pretty much about it. If you watch the last video, uh, it's not exactly too easy of a job to do this on this car. You have to take the engine down just a little bit, remove all the intakes, remove everything from the inside. And you can see here, they don't give you a lot of room to work with. So the car is all back together. Everything except for the air box is in there. And I'll wait just a little bit. We need to put the cap on the coolant reservoir. Uh, right now, it is sitting empty with no coolant, no, no water or anything in it. So our plan of attack next is to uh, put the oil flush additive in it and put just water in it, start it up, let it get close to temperature, and we're gonna drain both those out. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and put in our motor flush. Now this has a little bit of coolant in the oil, right? So we don't wanna really leave that in there. I don't just wanna drain it. So let's go ahead and do this. Engine's totally cold, maybe. A tiny amount of stuff inside there. As far as mix goes, let's go ahead and dump this in. You could buy this for your local auto parts store. You could buy this on eBay. You could buy it anywhere you, you please. All right, guys. So let's just go ahead and start this thing up real quick. I just put the belt back on. The belt was not back on it after we put the water pump in it. It is back on it now. Slipped off and smashed my thumb. Pretty good. Put a smile on your face, right? Tell me smash your finger. It's always a good time. Working on cars. I was trying to tell Phil the other day that it just becomes a thing of normalcy. And you have to inspect it, right? So if I get my ass in here. Very gingerly. And let's start it up and see. This thing is actually looking and sounding pretty decent. We're gonna lift it up. I don't see anything dripping. And here we are, just clean the floor. Nothing's dripping at all. The only thing I see dripping is coming out of the exhaust, the condensation, kind of the clamp, and a little bit spattered out of the pipe, which is totally normal. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and give it let's give it uh maybe 10 minutes and we're going to come back we're going to drain the coolant and we're going to drain the oil all right so here we are we're up to operating temperature that means the thermostat's open everything is good let's just go ahead we're about 180 a little over 180 go ahead and shut her down take the key out so we're in self dead because that's what 911s do and then essentially what we're going to do is lift it up, drain all the fluids, and refill. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have two things here of Allen number eight. We have our uh, oil filter extractor. We did take the lid off, so let's go ahead and drain this out. Let's just see what's going on here. You guys can see everything pretty good. We'll have to wing it with the old camera. Phil isn't here to... Control, hopefully don't go dead, hopefully nothing happens, and we lose footage. There's our old drain plug. Pop that baby out. I wonder how much, we have no idea how much coolant's actually in here, but we're about to find out right now. Now it's gonna be thin, because we put the flush in it. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. That's pretty milky. But see how thin it is from that flush? So what we're gonna try to do here, we're gonna try to get about 90% of this out. We're never gonna get it all out, but what's gonna happen in the oil, the engine will steam the rest of it out. That baby is good and hot, and it's good and thin. What we're gonna have to do uh, I'm more concerned about the coolant having oil in it, trying to get all that out. Now we flushed it twice, once with the uh, 
ready to flush and wants a simple green. And this is our third time with just water or whatever simple greens left in the system. I'll tell you what, I don't know when the last time this oil has changed in this bad boy, but I could barely get that filter off of us. I mean, I was barely strong enough to do it. We did get it. <laughs> oh God. Usually these aren't like that. The outside of the filter housing is dirty. It's like it hadn't been done in a very long time. Ha <laughs> dang. What's going on? This is not a normal thing at all. Turn hard all the way off to the very, very, very end. I think what we're gonna do, I was only gonna change oil once in this thing, but we're gonna have to change it twice, boys. We are gonna have to change it twice. The oil filter stuck in the housing, which is not really what you want, to be honest with you, um, but it does happen. Oh my God. Yep. So let's do this. Let's put that upside down. And this is why I wear gloves. Peel those off. Throw them in the trash. Let's go ahead and refill. We have a new man filter to put in it. 719-5X. We're going to use two filters on this. We can't leave this one in here and, and run it like drive it. And our next step is going to be drive it. So let's go ahead and let that drain as much as we can. New filter, new oil. We'll go on our drive after we refill the coolant and we'll change it again. I guess we're going to have to do. All right. Let's go ahead and let's do this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They didn't give me the right one. Those son of a. What the hell? That's not a factory filter, boys. Is that even the right filter? That's the thing. This is a, this is the mall filter. Okay. So at least it's a legit one. Made in Austria. This filter looks so much smaller. Why is this filter? Well, it's not really actually. The hole is all the same. Maybe the difference in the mall to the factory one, but this is the right filter for the car. So let's see if we can push this up on here. That's weird though, that mall, that Mali or however you say it, the filter is slightly different size. Outside damper, the inside and everything's all the same, but the outside, I wonder why that is. We double and triple checked this filter to make sure it was right. And uh, it is. Very odd. I'll crank this back on here and then we'll fill it full of oil. Okay, so the oil's draining, filter's on. Let's go ahead and break loose. We're gonna take the drain plug out right here this time instead of pulling the hose off. You pull the hose off, it goes everywhere. And let's try this. If not much comes out, we'll have to pull the hose off. But let me try this real quick. There's a little drain here. Before that was the Allen number five. And we'll just break at least with that. Give her one of these jobs. Been a while since this one's been out, boys. We're just gonna be looking at the state of, we know it's gonna be a little bit dirty. Oh. Oh boy, she has some Taco Bell. It's not that bad actually. All right, <clears throat> we just filled it up. We put eight quarts, takes eight and a half. We put eight quarts of Mobile One 10W30 in it. For the final, I had that laying around. For the final fill, uh, we'll do the Mobile One 5W40. You just seem like Porsches like that, the European blend. Um, so yeah, we just put water in the coolant, took five minutes, 
you notice this whole time we had the coolant vent bell flipped up. I was going to go drive it at this point in time, put the air box on and go drive it, but as bad as the oil looked, maybe we'll not do that quite yet. <laughs> maybe we'll go away for another change. Uh, well, it's pretty rough looking. Let's go ahead and start it up and let's just see. All right. And there's no drips. Let's just let it run for a little while and redrain it. All right. So. What we did is it's run for about 35 minutes in the lift. And I'm just, the thought was just crossed my mind. I was watching it go from like 195, then we kick it, the thermos they kick in like 180, 185, right in there. And uh, the thought just crossed my mind. I said, you know what? We should probably put the radiator cap on. And then the fans turn on like they should. Um, and just I was going to pick up the radiator cap, it threw up all over my floor and diaried my floor all up. Mild inconvenience, right? Mild inconvenience. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to pull that plug again for the coolant or water at this point. And because it is still kind of nasty, um, we'll just go ahead and do this again once or twice more. Keep me a safe distance here because that's probably pretty hot at this point. Probably pretty hot at this point. Be very careful with this. <laughs> so just a little bit at first and now it's all clear. Be a little bit at first should be a little bit last. Look how clear that is though. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we're definitely on the right road here. Now the very end, like I said, should be a little bit on the nasty side, right? Touching the camera with some greasy hands. Phil's going to shoot me for this one. Yep, a little dirtier. All right, so what is this, the fifth? This is the fifth flush for the coolant. And we'll check the old oil here in a second. Where we're at here. Pretty clear this time. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave this out. Whenever that gets done draining, we're gonna take some water and pour it to the reservoir because the reservoir has like a film floating on top of it. Okay, so we're seven, this is the seventh drain, seventh flush. Got a brand new clean bucket. And let's see once what we got here when we drain this out. Pretty hot, boys. So we're totally clear. We'll be able to see once it drains in this bucket what's what here, right? That's how we're looking right now. That's pretty damn good, actually. Uh, not bad at all. I plan to see a little bit of goo come out right at the very end, the last little drizzle out. We'll wait just a second here and see. So, I don't know if we're gonna get it or not. But just a slight little film, just had to keep trying to get all that out of there. That's not gonna hurt anything, but what I don't want is send this car back and then somebody goes to check the coolant and there's oil in it, which there probably will be no matter what we do. I think there's a problem. There's some oil at the very end because the oil floats. So always at the very end of the drain, you get some nastiness on her. And now we're back to running clear. And then we'll go ahead and thread this back in. Start it up and do it again. Probably three more times. All right, so we just filled it for the ninth time um, so we're gonna see after it's set all night especially we're almost up to temperature let me take a look at it here real quick we are not there yet we're almost there we'll get the temp with the thermostat open and drain it out 
how many more times we can have to go with this thing uh, before it's good. Let me take you off the tripod, try to hold this camera steady, and we're going to show you what we got going on here. Come on, get off of there. Get off of there. We got that in there. But it's just a film, see? It's just a little bit of film on top. Underneath that, it's all totally clear. Okay, this is the ninth draining. We got our clean bucket. Let's go ahead and take it out. It's up temperature. We're running totally, totally clear now. There you go. Almost up in the bucket, but we're gonna get our last little bit of sludge at the very end of the draining. Okay, so on this one, we did almost all simple green, and we'll show you here. I got these some lows. These are about 20 bucks for three gallons of it. That was a little over two gallons to put in this one of only simple green, and then put maybe a few quarts of water in it. And I can see in the reservoir, this is definitely broken a lot of stuff up. Um, so we made us have to keep doing this. This is number 10, all right? Number 10 flush. If you guys go Taco Bell, maybe you're accustomed to 10 flushes, but uh, I'm not, right? It's not normal. It's not normal. I can tell there's a lot more in it that time. That really did clean a lot more of it out. Can you flush this thing 10 times simple green only? No, I mean you could, but it's gonna get pretty expensive pretty quick. It is foamy though. There is a lot more oil coming out of it that time. A lot more. That hot simple green definitely changes a lot of stuff. So look what it's doing. The simple green is actually separating the oil and the coolant immediately. So this may be the ticket. Let's go and do number 11 with simple green again. All right, number 11 with completely, pretty much 100% simple green. Let's pull the plug, it's up temperature. And yes, I did open the heater core on the last five of these flushes. Um, so let's just see once here what we got. I hate to even kneel on this floor, it's so nasty. I feel like one of these times when I take this plug out, it's gonna blow all over me and burn me. You ever get that feeling? You ever get that feeling? You ever get that feeling? Now, on this time, I can see there is hardly any residue in the overflow, but I can see some brown tinge to that. So Simple Green's gonna go ahead and separate that oil and coolant. This may be the ticket out uh, to get this thing on, on the road. Now, is it still mixing in the engine? I do not think so. I don't see that. Um, you know, but of course we haven't really drove it either. Look at that. That simple green really cuts that oil. And as soon as it's in the bucket, you can see the oil rise to the top and it's actually brown instead of just foam, you know, mixed uh, peanut butter, or whatever you want to call it. The nasty 911 stuff. It's all foaming up in the bucket real big. So I'm gonna do is come over here with our funnel and a little bit of water. And yeah, it's separated all in the reservoir now where it's just straight oil. All right, so this is, camera went dead, sorry. This is 12, drain number 12. And it's been sitting about 40 minutes, went and edited some video. Delete everything off the camera, came back out and that's what we got. And you kind of see here a little bit better the separation the simple green does they're really breaking that stuff down and you can see on top here that's just oil on top right just oil so let's go ahead and we're gonna do one more simple green flush and go back to water i think this will be the third simple green flush all right so this was this 12 or 13. is this 12 or 13. Turn that off, put one new glove on, and let's drain it. Now, this time, there's hardly any oil at all in the reservoir. 
There's a little bit of oily foam from that simple green. There's no oil film on top. Are we almost there? We're, we're on uh, five, a little north of five gallons of simple green. We ran through this bad boy. Well, let's just go ahead and break this loose, finger this out, and let's see where we're at. Wipe the bucket totally out this time. It's pretty green. Pretty green and not brown. Yep. Yep. I think we've, I think we accomplished something. Where are we at here? We are at 12. Is this 12? I can't remember. All right, boys, 12. Shit, is this 12 or 13? I think it's 13. I think it's 12. 12 is a magic number the way it seems. That looks pretty damn good. It's just green foam with a couple little swirls of oil on the foam. And that's it. There's nothing in the bucket at all. Nothing on the sides of the bucket. It all looks perfect. So let's dump this. Fill it back one more time full of water. We'll drain that. Now we're just trying to get the simple green out. Drain that. Fill it one more time full of water. And then we're ready to do the oil probably again and drive it. We won't put antifreeze in it until the very, very, very end. And we know for sure that it's good because the antifreeze for this car is very expensive. All right, this is drain number 13. And this is water just trying to get the simple green out of the system. Uh, there was almost no oil in the last drain. I'm telling you guys, it's like you don't know, but you just watched the video, so you know. All right? Sketchy. Sketchy. Ow. There's a little bit of oil on this one. Maybe. It's definitely got a lot browner color to it. Is it just more stuff breaking up out of the system or not? But this is water. Um, so I don't know. It did get a little hotter this time than the car did. Let's just take a look. It's hard to tell when it's running. I can't see in the bucket because it's foamy. Let's see what we got. All right, so how's number 13 look? A lot of simple green. There is only a little bit of the brown foam on it but it's overall, it's pretty decent. See a little bit on top and that's all. Very, very small amount and it is separated. Simple Green is cutting that stuff. So let's go ahead and dump this, fill up the water again and see what we got. All right, number 15, number 15. So if we could drain it this time and not have hardly anything in it still, there's still a little bit of suds in there. We will fill it up and we will um, check the oil and take it for a drive and see what we got. It's hot, boy, she's hot. Okay, let me cut this, we'll be right back. All right, so this is, what is this, 15 or 16 flushes? Here's the issue. I want to pull the plug out, but I think I have some bad news for this car. Um, so it was the first night we let it sit all night with water in it, not cool, water. And uh, last night, so when I stopped on it, I forgot dark outside. I stopped it because I can't have the doors open. It was too cold in the shop and that kind of business. Um, it was about on the ad mark. We didn't put all the oil in it, you know, or anything like that. We left it a half a quart low or about a quart low. And we're just idling here. We didn't waste any more than we had to. So we let it run long enough at this point in time. It should have cleaned up the oil. Um, so last night, I didn't see anything on the dipstick. Everything was good. This morning, I came out, pulled the dipstick. It was full of milky oil. It was like over full. Wiped it off, stuck it back in. It was still over full. Uh, so I just started up just now. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy off and drain it. Uh, but I'm very afraid that this engine is, engine's a goner, boys. Uh, so what does this? It would have to be an overheated. 
Um, there's no other way that it's going to do that without being over here. Clean bucket. Let's drain it. Let's see what we got. That'll tell the whole story right there of what's going on. We're running clear at this point. Um, what we're going to do next, let that drain out, see what's in the bucket. Then we need to check the oil again once it cools off and see what the deal is. So let's look what we got in the bucket so far. Um, oh boy. Bunch of cloudy, milky water. It's not milky, it's just like cloudy. Um, we have to make sure the recommendation I give the owner is the correct one. So let's let this drain out. We'll evaluate it in the bucket and then we'll check the oil and see. Okay, so here's where we're at with it. Make sure you guys can see that bucket. Um, this is where we're at. You know what I mean? Um, is it garbage? Is this engine garbage? Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. Well, I wasn't. I'm going to do something here in a second. Screw this back on for forget it. Um, so these engines can have a cracked cylinder head. Usually it's done, it's from overheating. As low as mileage this car is, it was definitely from overheating. Uh, now whether the owner even knew it was overheating or not, that's a whole nother deal there. Um, but I think they did have a deal to where the check engine light was flashing. That means it's low coolant. My experience with 996s are, if it's flashing, that may not always read uh, correctly. That means the, the coolant's too low to hit the sensor right. Um, so I just let it set for a little while. Let's go ahead and pull the oil out, dipstick out. Oh boy. And uh, she's not looking good, boys. She's not looking good at all, all right? Look at that. So we have an option here. This video is getting to be three hours freaking long. Let's stop the video right here. And what do you guys think? All my 996 guys on here. I think we're looking at cracked cylinder head. I really do. Um, that's not that expensive. It is a mind numbing amount of work to put it in. That means you gotta drop the engine, separate the transmission from the engine, take every single piece off the top of that engine. You guys seen me do it before with that yellow 996. Um, the issue is then, can we find another cylinder head quickly? It's looked like anywhere from 450 to 700 bucks, anywhere in that range, depends on who has one for sale at this minute. <clears throat> um, we also have a slight chance it is an engine block problem. Uh, a lot of guys have said that before. Once you, once things get overheated like this more than likely was, um, and not saying anything against the owner, I'm just saying it was, it was overheated. At 59,000 miles, you don't have that issue. Um, like I said, it may not have been from the, no, the owner even knowing it was. Um, so we're looking at one of two options here. One, just go physically just buy another engine. That there's a chance it could have the same problem. Um, that's probably, I don't know, for a Cayman, it's stupid money. Cayman is like 10 grand. For this car, it's probably five to eight, somewhere in that range for just a uh, new to this car engine, not a new engine, just like new to this car engine. And then uh, coolant lines, we know from doing the 996, that was a near impossible job. That was about a thousand bucks for the coolant lines. Um, we cannot find OEM for all of it. We had to buy URO for a lot of it. But these cars are not push lock hoses. These are hose clamp hoses. Um, if we would have to pull out the two front radiators at that point, and make sure they're clean on the inside. Uh, at the age they are, the plastic's getting any what brown on them, we need to replace those. What we're trying to do here 
is make this car reliable again. And um, after an overheat situation or something that's happened, that gets very difficult to do that because then you have to touch on everything. Uh, now, we've already done the oil cooler, the oil separator, spark plugs. We've already done all the stuff we would have had to anyway. Um, but let me, you guys let me know what you think about this situation. We're going to cut the video here. We'll be back with another video here shortly. Talk to the owner, figure out a game plan with this thing. And don't forget, we still have to do Dwayne's M5 yet. We still got to do the Figaro yet. We still have to do my white M5 yet. And we need to do the coffin arms on the Cayman. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you soon.